Let's have a look at question seven in this video. So we live in a world with two time periods. So we've got a question about time. Now the income in each period at the beginning is $210. Now if the interest rate is 0 0.05, so that's 5% per period, what's the present value of the income? Draw the budget constraint. Okay, so let's do that. Let's actually calculate it. What does it mean the present value of our income? The present value that we're going to calculate is the present value of the current income, which is just the money in the first period. We cannot discount it anymore because it's in the first period, plus the money in the second period discounted. Okay, what is that in numbers? The money in the first period is $210, plus the money in the second period is $210, divided by 1 plus 0 0.05. Now, if we calculate this thing, we get $410. That's the present value of the income in both periods. Now, if we want to draw this on the budget line, we also need to know the future value. We also need to know how much money we're going to have in the second period. So in the second period, we would have the money in the second period plus the money from the first period compounded with interest because we would put it in the bag in the bank to accumulate interest. So that would be $210 in the second period plus $210 from the first period times 1 plus 0 0.05. And if we do the math over here, that would be $430.5. Now, how does this relate to the budget constraint? Let me zoom out and, and uh, let's draw it. So let's draw a budget constraint where we trade consumption in time. So we have consumption in the second period and consumption in the first period. Now what are the intercepts? The intercepts are the maximum amount of money that we can consume if we only consume in the second period in this case. So in that, in, in that situation we would be able to maximally consume $430.5. $430.5. And how much can we consume in the first period if we spend nothing in the second period, if we literally spend all our money now, we would be able to spend $410. So another intercept would be $410. And we connect this to, that's going to be our intertemporal budget constraint. So let's just call it intertemporal budget constraint. And that's it, we are done.